and toot my own hand, but God no. <laughs> Everything nice, man. Bless up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in this video, we're going to do Jamaican Sarel juice and thing, aka Rosella. Can't forget Rosella. Not everybody knows it by Sarel. So, we're going to do the original Jamaican Sarel juice and thing, you see? So guys, at this point, we are about to deal with the fire to put um, if you put the pot on it, um, if you boil the water for the sorrel and thing, yo, outside was so windy. We decided to just do a, a vice over and thing, you know. But yeah, man, we just, we just deal with the fire right now, just to kind of make a, a sorrel boil and thing, you know. Yeah, man, so action time. So I'm just going to put on the pot for, you know. To put in the uh, sorrel in it and thing like that you know what i mean guys i make a video last week about harvesting the sorrel so i did put it down up for about four days to make it dry and thing so i put the sorrel in the pot right now and now i'm gonna add all the ingredients first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna add the the sweet orange we have to put the sweet orange skin in it you know what i mean when when we did a liquor youth at jamaica we used to play this game we actually used to bet money on it like if a person appeal an orange you short um pants and shirt and if the person reaching at the half and at the orange and make the skin cut off yo you kinda win right there so kind if you cut the whole of it and that would resemble a whole suit pants or shirt is it but you know so them time they have to use everything to kinda make fun you see me yeah man so we have put the orange skin in it um actually I put two orange skin in it Yeah man, time to add the ginger. One thing you know guys, always remember if you buy the ginger from the store, always remember if you get a wash it. After you wash it, remember if you peel off the skin. Cause remember them spray a chemical on the skin just to make it stay longer inside the store. So it's a chemical up on the skin, you see me? So always remember if you wash it and peel it. Don't just you put it in the pot just like that, you know what I mean? So yeah man, we are gonna add the ginger right now to it. Yeah man. Time for add the pimento in it and thing. Right now, God know from your little picnic, me I pick um pimento for my auntie for go Wednesday day market. Big up to Auntie Clarice. And right now, fast forward to the future, me there I buy pimento. You see how them thing I work? Yeah man, but I just love pimento and thing. So it's time to add some water to it just cause you know say it took a boil down a little bit and things. So we know so we just want the richness. Me not try to dilute it or anything. We just want the richness. Uh, that we are depend on right now. So yeah man, we just want everything to come together right now. Look here man, rich, rich, real rich. Yeah man, it'll come together little by little man, you see it? Yeah man, rich, me love it when you're rich, you see it? Me not dilute nothing. We just love it when you reach just like that it'll come together same way is it yeah man you ready man yeah man you ready you ready you ready yeah we know i make it boil long no more you know what i mean coming out show no more water and it you ready officially ready you see it and you know say anytime we see fire you know man and fire empty if i know corn you know say a sweet potato so this size we just roast some corn on the empty fire you know what i mean because you know, we finish um we finish deal with the sorry, we finish boil this. So guys while I was dealing with the sorrel, I was currently um, making my lunch to take to work because I don't really buy food on the road when I'm out there driving and stuff like that. So I was just making some jerk chicken and steak to bring to work and things like that, you know what I mean? So yeah, man. So hey guys, 
guys, this is the second day of this video. So um, after we boil the sorrel and thing like that, we have to make it sit overnight. So now I was rushing home from work today. I did like what, 12 and a half hours of work. So I was rushing home to finish this process. So now we're gonna finish the process by straining it and adding the ingredients to it. So guys, on to it. So as I said, we left it overnight to make it soak. So we have the, the ginger in it. The fermenter in it, the orange skin in it, everything I do it thing. You see how thick it is right now? So now what we are doing is we try to strain it out and thing, you see me? So guys, now me have my tin strainer. Come on, to make sure so you're not, not in there, isn't it? Just pure sorrel juice, no debris and thing, isn't it? Not only that guys, you have to be careful of how you make your juice go up or anything because I tell you, this will really stain it. So guys, right now we have a crystal clear um, sorrel juice. Um, we have a red label wine. We have a white rum, Rayan Nevio. And we have three quarter cup of sugar. You know what I mean? Now I tell you no lie, I feel bad about this because I don't really consume sugar, you see? But, but I'm not telling no lie, sometimes I have to I have a urge for you sorry juice, yeah, man. So I have to make a sacrifice, you know? Yeah man, I definitely have to make a sacrifice there. Yeah man. Yeah man, just mix it in man, just mix it in. Don't stop so till it just mix in and thing, you see it? the red label to it So we just add a little bit of white rum, not a lot, but just, you know, just a little bit. Cause you know, say anybody come from church, come at the yard, more of make them get a lot. So I don't want to make, I don't want to taste the rum in it, is it? So you can't put a lot of rum in it. Rum always there, so anybody feel like they need to add more, they can add it to feed them. So guys, I'm going to taste what I'm going to see. What I'm missing or what more I can add to it. So guys, this is the taste test me I deal with right now, so just to see if I need to add anything else, but my BLE is glass, never light, but guys, I don't toot my own hand, but God no. This is one of my best cereal I have in a long time, which is a couple months, but it tastes really good, it tastes like home, it tastes like Jamaica. It tastes like 1998. It tastes really good. So this is, you know, this is how we make a sorry land thing. So guys, thank you for watching the video. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the video, like the video, or share the video to whoever you think would like to watch this. And bless up.